Collins actor David Swimmer has been jailed for nine months for theft and fraud offences. An image of Abdullah Hassini buying cans of beer went viral when social media users pointed out his likeness to the sitcom actor. The 36-year-old has used a stolen bank card to make the purchase after swiping a wallet from a man's jacket at an all-you-can-eat buffet. The thief used the card to, to make fraudulent purchases at four shops just around the corner from us in Blackpool, Lancashire, last September. When police in Blackpool posted a CCTV image of Hosseini buying beer at an Iceland store in an attempt to track him down, the post quickly amassed more than 11 million shares, even attracting the attention of actor David Schwimmer himself. David captioned the video, Officers, I swear it wasn't me. As you can see, I was in New York. Good luck with the investigation. Woo! Fast man cons villagers at faith with Des the Identity Gang, then fled with the cash. The mystery mime artist at our village fate asked visitors to donate one pound to try and unmask him for a hundred pound prize. Locals agreed to do so and got duped in the process. The mystery suspected mime artist currently being hunted wandered around the packed event in full body morph suit communicating only in mind. He even handed out an entry form where he wrote, Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Wollaston's mystery man. With space for people to leave contact details and guesses. Revelers assumed he was a local resident raising cash for the whole fund and many paid a pound, and even posed for selfies. His identity remained a secret throughout the day, but within hours of him raising an estimated several hundred pounds, he is now feared to have fed with the proceeds. Many, many perplexed villagers say they still don't know if they have been duped or are victims of a bad joke by the man who hit his face and communicated with everyone only by mime. And now, those behind the Wollaston Carnival in the Forest of Dean have issued a desperate plea for the man to come forward and over the money before they call in the police. Carnival coordinator Andy Morgan Watts, who led the parade in his village car, dressed as a ringmaster said, he just appeared. Everybody was applauding him because it seemed such a clever way of raising money. But when he disappeared, it left such a bad taste in everyone's mouths because people thought they'd actually been giving money to charity. I still like to believe that he is just dragging it out somewhere, trying to get the maximum amount of money for a good cause. Some people think I'm being too kind. But we'll just have to wait and see which way it goes. <laughs> it's clearly that black and white has his suit. <laughs> Meanwhile, organisers said they did not think there was anything sinister about the man in the checkered morph suit who joined the carnival parade as it wound its way around the small upmarket village which is just off the A48 in southwest England. The mime artist even cheekily put his belongings in the back of a vintage car and made a thumbs up sign so he could have his hands free to hand out leaflets. Sue Anderson, who is on the carnival committee, said, There's nothing unusual in people joining the parade, so we didn't think much of it when he snuck in. 
It was thought. It was a great idea, and he was dancing with the samba band and putting his arm around children who wanted their photograph taken with him. It was a beautiful day, and everybody was having a good time. But later on, towards the end, when everybody thought he was going to climb on the stage and do the big reveal, nobody could find him. He just disappeared. Apparently, some villagers said they had seen the mystery man melt away from the memorial fields down a public footpath while carrying a deck chair and what looked like an old music bag or briefcase. They thought he would be coming back. But when the man did not come forward, Sue and her husband Tony, chairman of the carnival committee, put an appeal out on Facebook asking the Joker to reveal himself. They then received an email from the carnival mystery my mark is offering to put over £100 into the bank if they gave details of the carnival bank account. The couple have not yet heard anything since declining to do so while emailing him back suggesting a meeting so he could hand over the cash. So said they want to give him a chance and kiss at someone who had just taken a joke a bit too far. But I know some people are losing patience because a lot of people and children gave him money from their pensions in their piggy banks. We could go to the police, but they are hardly going to be able to identify him and I line up as everybody keeps joking. He probably got a checkered past. Mom, Donna Haywood, was one of the villagers who came across the man and said, We paid for three guests and it's the extra pound for Cain. To have his picture taken with him as my son is a massive Fortnite fan. Thinking this was for the haul and didn't bother me paying them. But to then see the post on Facebook that he was actually a con man. It's such a shame that people feel they need to do this. Meanwhile, there has been much speculation about his identity. With many suggesting he had the slight porch and the gait of an older man. But others say he is young and the only thing everybody can agree on is that it was definitely a male, not a female, inside the skin tight suit which sells online for between 20 and 30 pounds. Another villager, Mr Morgan, said, I have a feeling. I know who it is, but I can't say and add to the speculation. The person I'm thinking about is it's the bill in terms of height and sense of humour. But we'll have to wait and see if he comes forward. If he doesn't, there's not a law we can do. I know for a fact, villagers will blame the organisers if he does turn out to be a corn man. I know people will be upset about the money too. We had a really good day. And that's what it's all about. Community spirit.